Well, friends, the New York Mets have been playing very odd games since their inception in 1962, but I don't think you or I have ever seen anyone like this. They find themselves the winners 5-4 after 10 innings tonight in one of the strangest almost four-hour games of baseball you or me have probably ever seen. Started out with Mets pitcher David Peterson only throwing one and two-thirds innings, three hits, three earned runs on the day. A tough start for him, but the Mets kept themselves in the game, eventually tying the game on a Francisco Lindor game-tying two-run home run late in the game, but that was not really the story for much of what was going on, especially if you watch the TV broadcast. You know, there was some issues between, it seemed, Jeff McNeil and aforementioned Lindor, and they wound up in the clubhouse for some reason. They came back out. There was some miscommunication the inning prior between them on the field, and then Lindor was the one who ended up tying the game. Some odd miscommunication, it seemed, of sorts. Uh, that led to some some bickering, one would imagine, in the clubhouse and in the dugout that spread to the whole team, it seemed like, at least from the television broadcast. Game ended up going to the ninth inning and past the ninth inning. Eventually, in the bottom of the tenth, Patrick Mazika is with an infield single and a bit of a fielder's choice and error, able to bring Pete Alonso, the extra inning runner from second base home, was on third base at that point. The Mets end up winning that game 5-4. to four. And of course, the thing we were all waiting for was the post-game press conference. And according to Francisco Lindor, the disagreement between him and Jeff McNeil that led them to the clubhouse was more of a sense of curiosity, as McNeil claimed he saw a raccoon in the clubhouse, and Lindor thought it was a rat, thought it was a New York rat. He had never seen a New York rat before. something, isn't it? Well, I guess one might say that would be the wrap of today's game. Let's just also note Patrick Mazika. That was his first ever plate appearance at City Field. It's his first career RBI, his first home appearance as a Met, and he's the one who gets the win for New York tonight. And also, by the way, the Polar Burger. <clears throat> Live from my dad's car on the way home from City Field. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. This is Dylan Balsamo, WFUV Sports.